Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Doom Eternal on the Nintendo Switch. So can we make it run at 6 FPS? Well, <laughs> there's only one way to find out. Right now I'm in the Super Gore Nest level, which I had issues with when playing on PC. When I'm saying issues is only drops in performance, it's not like the game is broken or something. Quite the opposite actually. The fact that is this came out on Switch blew my mind. I thought it was going to be cancelled or something. But of course, as expected, it's going to be a 30 FPS game. So let's get started with the tweaking. First things first, please do an overclock. So this is an overclock most people should be able to achieve. Look at the clocks. Then you need that the FPS locker has the patch for the game set up. So you can increase the frame rate target and the game will use dynamic resolution for 6 FPS. If not, the game will be double the speed, which is not ideal. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> All right. And now we're basically with those unlock frame rates. The game looks way worse visually when it comes to resolution. But again, this is the sacrifice we're making to try and get 6 FPS. In duct mode, as you can probably notice, that's not gonna happen. At least not in this demanding location. The GPU and CPU are just crying. <laughs> but again, some Giga Chad is out there and made this patch for dynamic resolution on the Switch targeting 60. And without overclocking, don't even try it. Trust me on that one. So if we're playing in duck mode, there is one recommendation that I would use. Which is the following, instead of targeting 60, target 30, yeah, I know, Doom at 30 FPS, listen to me on this one. So we go back to 30 FPS because otherwise the resolution is too low and we're not hitting 60s anyway. And we keep the overclock in place, so we got an overclock plus the 30 FPS mode, which will lead us to a higher resolution, much higher than when the game is not in dock mode, when it's not overclocked, better said. So if you do this, which is the overclock plus dock mode, you get a boost in resolution just by the, because of the fact that we have a higher clock speed and a faster CPU clock. So the CPU and GPU are doing better like this. Which means that the game can use that extra horsepower and increase the resolution internally. So the game looks significantly sharper. And well, you hit 30s more consistently, basically. That will be my advice for dock mode. A little disappointing probably, but it's the way to go in my opinion. At least if you want to enjoy this game consistently. I mean, if the drops were into the 50s only, okay, I'll let it go. But this drops into the 30s and 40s pretty often, at least in these demanding locations. All right, I think it's time to show you handheld and let's see if we can make a miracle happen on that one. So one sec. Welcome back, now in handheld, stock settings. This is how the game shows up. By default, 30 FPS cap, lower resolution than on dock mode, obviously. I think slightly lower settings as well. And I'm noticing that it's getting kind of blurry, despite having a smaller screen, you can notice it. But again, I'm in the, one of the most demanding levels, at least, that I played on my PC. And well, the question, again, can we run it at 6 FPS? Well, before doing that, 
let me do a quick overclock so you're not going to drop below 30 you should be fine but if you do an overclock like i showed you there and you keep the 30 fps cap the game looks razor sharp it's kind of insane how sharp it looks <laughs> and why does that happen well as i explained before we have more gpu and cpu power to spare with the increased clock speeds so the game has more room to spare to increase the resolution so the game looks significantly sharper on the smaller screen even on demanding levels you get worse battery life of course maybe for three four hours but that's still a lot of time at least in my opinion and i don't know the game just feels okay but it's still 30 fps can we do 60s let's find out increase the target to 60 so dynamic resolution will hit harder and well it's a lower resolution than native of course especially for the portable mode and let's see <laughs> what we can do about this let's go full bfg and I noticed that it's a lower resolution right away. It's way more aliased. Well, it's not aliased, actually. It's like... Uh, blurrier. That's what I was looking for. It's a blurrier experience. But it's pretty close to 60, actually. Again, we're in the most demanding level, at least my experience whoops no change so for you let's get into a higher place and try that again but as you can see it's closer to 60 than in dock mode because we're using a lower resolution okay we still drop into the upper 40s which is not ideal but hey, it's optional. If you don't mind a low resolution and 40 to 60 FPS, at least in the demanding levels, you should be fine. If you're okay with 30s, just overclock and take a look at the better resolution. Because the resolution improvement when targeting 30 with an overclock is quite significant, I would say. But the fact that we can still force the dynamic resolution to target 60 <laughs> I think it's pretty funny we just need more GPU clock speed and probably a faster CPU as well it's usually when particles show up so now as a point of reference let me show you a less demanding level and um, we'll see what we can do with that alright we're at the very beginning of the game now and this will be way less demanding than the Super Gore Nest. The Super Gore Nest has lots of reflections, lot of, lots of very complex surfaces in comparison to here. I'm just going to speedrun through it. That way. But the frame rate will be obviously more stable. Because again, nowhere as complex as the Super Gorness. The Super Gorness is something else. <laughs> so instead of dropping into the 40s, we drop into the 50s, which. I think it's okay. I'll play most of the game like this. Resolution holds up pretty well. So if you don't mind that in the worst case scenario you're dropping into the 40s, you should be just fine. Because Doom feels so much better over 30 FPS, it's not even funny. But again, it can get very inconsistent in, in those big stages. So it's all up to you, really. 
Honestly, it's awesome to play on the smaller screen at 6 FPS. It's pretty impressive. It's a shame we cannot maintain it. Hopefully, if Nintendo releases a Switch 2, we can get better looking ports that run at 6 FPS. Maybe I'm asking for too much. Okay, now hell on earth. So yeah, all up to you. You can overclock, keep 30s for maximum resolution. Or you can overclock and try to get 60s, but there's moments in bigger maps where things like this will happen. You'll look into the distance and get drops into the mid 40s. But if you rather have that than a 30 FPS target, be my guest and do it. The game still looks pretty good. But the slowdowns will make it feel more inconsistent. And that's it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did revisiting Doom Eternal, but in a very different platform that I'm used to. I also tried it on Steam Deck, which is way more powerful than the Switch, and well, it was six days across the board, it was awesome. <laughs> so if you're interested in that video, check it below. But that's all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys, rip and tear!